Knowledge is a major and significant ingredient for safety. During the next few minutes, you will learn some basic rules and instructions associated with the Toolcat utility work machine. Unlike other types of off-highway utility machines, the Toolcat work machine is equipped with a lift arm that can lift heavy loads or other attachments. Because of these differences, this machine will operate and handle differently than other types of utility vehicles that have only a cargo box on the rear of the machine. It is important that you and everyone who operates a Toolcat utility work machine understands proper machine operation and recognizes situations that could result in an accident, injuring yourself or someone working with you. The operation and maintenance manual for the machine and attachment is your primary guide for safe machine and attachment operation. Never use the Toolcat machine without instructions. You will see this safety alert symbol throughout the presentation as well as in various manuals, the operator's handbook, and on machine safety signs. It identifies important safety messages. When you see it, be alert to the possibility of serious injury or death. Always follow the instructions in the safety message. This symbol points out actions you should avoid to reduce the potential for injury. Once you have familiarized yourself with the machine, make certain you are dressed properly for the job. Do not wear loose clothing or anything else that may catch on controls or in moving parts. Follow daily inspection guidelines found in the operation and maintenance manual and on the machine. Keep the Toolcat machine properly maintained and check the tires for proper inflation pressures. The cab provides falling object protection or FOPS and rollover protection or ROPS. Inspect the structure and fasteners daily before operating the machine. Never remove or modify this safety feature. Your particular job application could require additional accessories, such as a backup alarm, cab enclosure, and special application kits to protect the front and rear windows. After entering the cab, adjust the seat and steering wheel if necessary to a comfortable position. The operator and passenger should always fasten their seat belts for restraint before operating the machine. Adjust them so they are snug across your hips. Remember, only one passenger should ride in the machine. The Toolcat machine has a hydrostatic drive system with low and high range travel speeds. Always avoid making sharp turns when operating. You must fasten the shoulder belt to the lap belt before operating in high range. This additional restraint is needed if you accidentally hit an obstruction. The Toolcat work machine is equipped with the Toolcat Interlock Control System, or TICS. This system requires the operator to lower the armrest before the lift, tilt, auxiliary hydraulics, and traction drive functions can be operated. The travel direction control lever has three positions, forward, park, and reverse. The lever must be in the park position to start the engine. Never attempt to start the engine or operate the controls from outside the operator's position. This is dangerous and could cause serious injury or death. For example, the lift arm or attachment could suddenly move. Correct wheel alignment contributes to proper machine handling. Always check wheel alignment before operating. Use the instructions provided inside the cab or in the operation and maintenance manual to make wheel alignment adjustments. A variety of attachments are available for the Toolcat machine. Use only Bobcat approved attachments. Never exceed the loader's rated operating capacity. Overloading could cause tipping and result in injury to the operator or passenger and damage to the machine or attachment. Never exceed the cargo box load capacity. Avoid top-heavy loads. The load's high center of gravity will affect the overall stability of the machine. Always secure loads that could tip or fall and avoid sudden stops which could cause loads to shift. Do not exceed the towing capacity or the trailer hitch tongue weight capacity of the work machine. When towing, always drive slowly and avoid making sharp turns. 
Check the machine load capacities decal for maximum rated capacities of the work machine. The loader rated operating capacity, or ROC, is determined by using a standard dirt bucket. In this example, the ROC is 1,500 pounds. If longer buckets or pallet forks are used, the load center moves forward and reduces the loader's ROC. Also, if very dense material is loaded, the volume must be reduced. The maximum cargo box load is the load that can only be carried in the cargo box without any load on the lift arm. In this example, the maximum cargo box load is 2,000 pounds. The machine rated capacity is the combined weight of the load on the lift arm. The cargo box load, the operator and passenger. In this example, the machine rated capacity is 2,200 pounds. If there is no load on the lift arm and no load in the cargo box, the maximum tow weight in our example is 4,000 pounds. The total rated capacity of the Toolcat work machine is the combined weight of the load on the lift arm, cargo box load, operator, passenger, and tow weight. In our example, the total rated capacity of the work machine is 4,200 pounds. To install an attachment to the work machine, always make sure the attachment is properly secured using the Bobtatch mounting system. Make sure the Bobtatch locking levers are fully locked down and in the over center position, with the wedges extended through the attachment mounting holes. Operate the Toolcat machine on level ground when loading, unloading, or turning. Always look to the rear before backing up. Look in all directions, including the direction of travel, before moving. Keep bystanders away from the work area. Do not travel or turn with the lift arm raised and slow down when turning. When raising the lift arm, always keep the bucket or attachment level to prevent materials from falling off the bucket. Always carry the bucket or attachment as low as possible for the best stability and visibility. Avoid obstacles, drop-offs, or holes that could cause tipping or a rollover. If you feel the machine tipping, stay in your seat with the seat belt fastened. Brace yourself and lean away from the impact point. Do not attempt to jump. When driving up and down slopes, always keep the heavy end uphill. Go directly up or down the slope. With an empty bucket and loaded cargo box, the back end is the heavy end. Do not drive across slopes or hills. Slow down before turning and always avoid sudden turns. Drive slowly on slippery surfaces. Use the rear differential lock for extra traction. The operator and passenger should keep their feet and arms inside the cab when the machine is being operated. Check for overhead power lines and underground gas or power lines before excavating or trenching. Call 1-888-258-0808 before you dig. Never reach or stand under a raised lift arm. Moving a lift arm control or a part failure can cause the lift arm to drop suddenly. If the lift arm must be in a raised position for service work, it must be supported by an approved lift arm support device to prevent accidental lowering. Also, an approved cargo box support device must be used when the cargo box is up for service. Make sure the cargo box is empty before raising it for service. Never carry riders on the machine. They could fall off, causing serious injury or death. Never use the machine as a man lift or work platform. Always stop the engine and let it cool before refueling. Do not smoke when fueling. If you must work in an enclosed area, make sure you have adequate ventilation. Exhaust fumes can kill or cause serious illness. Keep to the right when traveling on roadways and remember to follow all local rules and regulations. When parking or exiting the Toolcat machine, always park on level ground. Lower the lift arm and place the attachment flat on the ground. Fully lower the cargo box if it is not already down. Pull the engine speed control all the way back. Put the travel direction control lever in park. Move the joystick control to neutral. Stop the engine and remove the key. 
raise the armrest, unbuckle the seat belt, and exit the cab. When preparing the machine for transport on a trailer, remember to check that the trailer and towing vehicle are of adequate capacity. Drive up the ramp, keeping the heavy end uphill. Use ramps of adequate strength. Wood ramps can break, causing injury or death. Install chains using recommended tie-down procedures. Becoming a proficient Toolcat utility work machine operator requires knowledge, skill, and good judgment. Be that operator. It's impossible to cover every situation you could encounter on the job, but viewing this presentation is one way to work toward those goals. For additional information, technical specifications, or training resource information for all Bobcat equipment, see www.bobcat.com.